Now, the UN Secretary General says a new report by the World Meteorological Organization is chart busting. Antonio Guterres confirming that last year, 2023, was the hottest on record. It's a reality that has far reaching implications. In addition to record high temperatures, sea levels are rising faster. For more on this story, we can bring in Antonio Kerr again. Antonio, why are sea levels rising faster? Uh, there are a few reasons, of course, we can talk about when it comes to sea levels. Uh, the One of the big ones that came through in this report very strongly is a high level of ice loss. Uh, 2023 saw the largest glacier loss on record. So that's since the record started in the 1950s, uh, as well as a huge rate of loss of ice. Antarctic sea ice, uh, a record low, uh, a million uh, square kilometres lower than the previous record low. So a huge loss of ice. And I don't need to tell you that, of course, when ice melts, it becomes water and that makes its way to the sea. Mm. Um, And if we look at a graph um, on how uh, sea levels are rising, what we can see is that the rates of sea level rise we saw in the early 90s, for instance, have more than doubled uh, in terms of what we've seen in the last nine years. Mm. So that's a huge difference. Um, And so we need to bring in another factor there too, which is thermal expansion. Um, Basic science that when a liquid is heated, it gets, it takes up more space, its volume increases, the seas are getting hotter, and as such, the level is rising. And why are oceans heating? And what is the impact of this for the climate? There's a huge impact for the climate, actually, that we don't talk about enough, perhaps, in the same way that our planet is heating, the oceans are heating too. Uh, That's greenhouse gases capturing heat in the atmosphere that is absorbed. In fact, 90% of it is absorbed by our oceans. Um, They're slow to warm in many ways. We haven't seen the same drastic effects, perhaps, yet in the oceans as we have on land. Uh, But they are harbouring about 90% of the excess heat that's come into the atmosphere Mm. in the last 50 years. One of the outcomes of that is uh, under uh, underwater heat waves, which are disastrous for biodiversity. Mm. Another outcome for that for our climate on land is that, in fact, tropical cyclones and tropical storms gather their energy from these warming oceans. So they are going to be more powerful with higher wind speed and uh, heavier rainfall. Antonio, very briefly, we've seen uh, an increase in in heat waves, in frequency duration uh, last year. Uh, What are the dangers of this extreme heat, briefly? Uh, I mean, underwater, it's a big matter of biodiversity loss. We should, of course, mention that the oceans are one of our most important uh, carbon sinks, and we absolutely depend on the underwater food chains to ensure that carbon absorption. Uh, As we see necrosis, that's the destruction of tissue in uh, underwater organisms and bleaching of things like gorgonians and coral, Mm. uh, that's a huge devastating loss uh, to this extremely important carbon sink. Antonio Kerrigan, thank you very much for that. That's it for this edition. Thank you very much for watching.